Welcome back to San Diego People. I'm Ross Becker. One of the goals Mission Federal Credit Union uh, has is to help the community of San Diego by making a difference for others and encouraging them to do the same. They were also one of the uh, sponsors of this past uh, uh, recent uh, philanthropy day. Here to talk more about their organization is Neville Bill Moria, the Senior Vice President of Membership and Chief Advocacy Officer. Thanks for being here. It's a pleasure. Thanks for having me. If I could get it out of my mouth, we could could talk. Philanthropy is a tough word to say. It is a (laughs) tough, especially over and over again. This is exciting. Um, A little bit, I'm sure you heard we were talking about with Adrienne about, I love the fact that this fills a hole in our community that taxpayers then don't have to fill. And I know an organization like yours, um, a credit union, is as much a member of this community as you have members yourself, right? Absolutely. And we're a not-for-profit, so we're neither a for-profit or a non-profit. We sit on the bridge, Mm -hmm. and we are member-owned exclusively. So we're hyper-local. We're the largest locally-owned, exclusively serving San Diego credit union in the county. And do you consider yourselves a member of this community, and that's why the uh, philanthropy is so important? We are integral to this community, but that's not because we say it. It's because our members and community partners tell us that. That's right. Your members really are demanding that, that you do this. Now, tell me a little bit about the giving that Mission Fed does. Well, philanthropy comes in three flavors, time, treasure, and talent, the mm-hmm. three T's, ideally all to create transformation. And so, yes, we have a pool of money that we're able to donate back to our member owners, back to our community partners, back to nonprofits, and in our case, back to education in particular. Why do you think that's a good investment? Because, uh, frankly, uh, you actually were talking about this uh, mm-hmm. what, with Adrian. What, what are the things that the um, government sector cannot do or should not do? Mm-hmm. And, and histor- historically, we had our there was government organizations and private so on those are starting to blur increasingly and so I think people should be able to have the right to choose what they think is best to support so we, we, it, if you really want to boil the ocean what are the things that matter most to you because that should matter and that should be where you invest your time and effort so how does the foundation then help Mission Fed make sure that the money that dollar for dollar goes where it needs to go so the foundation and Mission Fed are different Mission Fed has its own mm-hmm. foundation as well ah, okay. and we do partner with the foundation periodically on particular events opportunities or causes but really our primary focus is to identify where our needs that are that we feel are right for our community or spe- again specifically around education historically that because we were initially an education based credit union ah, okay so l- tell me a little bit more specifically about some of the things that you have consistently funded over the years thanks so the most recent and largest one is the junior achievement mission fair junior mm-hmm. achievement finance park small business we, building small business right uh, we firmly believe that you can't learn how to swim by reading about it and the only way kids are going to learn about financial literacy is actually have the experience. So we support BizTown for fifth grade and then San Diego Mission Fed Junior Achievement Finance Park for high schoolers and adults. Mm-hmm. And so they can have those financial literacy skills that are critical for 21st century learning. And if you guys didn't do that, then the school system would have to. And then we're talking taxpayer and we're t- money again, right? And wonderfully, the schools are partnering. The districts are partnering with us and with Junior Achievement to make sure that that financial literacy becomes integral to a student's experience. I know one of the things that you do, too, uh, and this has to do with education is nobody can learn if they're hungry, right? <laughs> and and I know over the years, Mission Fed has dealt with that. So food insufficiency is a huge problem. Uh, we, we don't realize how big an issue it is in San Diego. There are certain school districts mm-hmm. that have 99% of the students on free and reduced lunch. Uh, and incredible. When, when you, yeah, how could you possibly uh, pay attention to what's going on in the classroom if you're hungry? Yeah. And so we, one of our most recent campaigns was to uh, ba- backpack, backpacks for kids. Mm-hmm. So for a uh, mere you could basically pay for a kid for the weekend and that we know of kids that would come to would not eat over the weekend so their younger siblings could eat so they could get to school and get that free or reduced lunch cost national philanthropy day um just another one of those days like donut day and everything else Heck but no but it's not i know i knew you were going to say that it's not and why is it particularly important uh that that we pay attention to national philanthropy day and it's not just the money it's also the people behind it and the hearts behind it right it's the ecosystem it's the philanthropic ecosystem, the, mm-hmm. the donors, the nonprofits are doing great work, and then all those strategic volunteers who give their time, which is valued at a $1 billion hit to the economy if all those volunteers decided to roll up their tents and not show up in the classrooms, in the synagogues, in the churches, in the playgrounds. In the, mm-hmm. I mean, that would be the hit. The average man or woman <clears throat> who goes to work every day and makes their paycheck and comes home, they don't see this, this stuff. They, in many times, they take it for granted, too, which I guess is, is sad on one hand, but it's good there are people doing this kind of work. 
I, I think they do know the volunteers really matter because oh, yeah. uh, so I, I don't think volunteerism in this country is appreciated to the extent it should be mm -hmm. but that said I, I think we realize the importance of volunteering is this something that has to get bigger do you think more philanthropy in, in this country or does it really depend on is it a top-down thing does it come from Washington down no. or does it comes from the grassroots it up? comes from the heart it comes from a care uh, a we not me mindset right? it, that's where it really begins mm -hmm. and I don't think bigger is better I think smarter is better uh, mm -hmm. it, it, smarter investing uh, yeah the, the old adage the best way to turn a dollar into 25 cents is to give it to a charity that ha that mindset has to be debunked once and for all and you're the foundation that you have within Mission Fed and also the San Diego fund they look at that very closely don't they <laughs> trying to target this money where it's going to do the most good absolutely uh, where we have a fiduciary responsibility to our member owners mm -hmm. to make sure that money is optimized whether it's for their own personal loans or if it's in this case taking care of our community we, we try to make smart investments. What is the looking forward, going ahead health of philanthropy in this country? What do you think what, as you look down the road? I think we have no choice but to help equip a 21st century. If we're going to be an innovation economy mm -hmm. and we don't have a robust social sector, and that social sector is not supported by philanthropy, I don't think we can remain America's finest city. In fact, our aspiration to be not only America's finest city, but America's kindest region. And so th that aspiration will come to fruition when more of us recognize the important work that all philanthropists pay, play, the 12,000 nonprofits in San Diego play, and all our amazing volunteers uh, do and make the, diff the difference they make on a daily basis. We can't be the finest unless we're the kindest. Amen. Unless we have the kindest. All right, Neville, thank you so much for thank being you. here. Thank you. And thanks, Mission Fed, for being part of all of it's this. It's been an honor. we got a lot more to talk about, though, because we want you to learn a little bit more of where this money goes and how it works. Still ahead, we're going to talk to a local philanthropist who's worked with local teenagers to make a difference in their lives. We'll be right back here on San Diego People.